Well, like usual, I am happy but pissed off at the same time. Uh, this is my little Harbor Freight water pump again. Um, it's got the Predator 212 engine on it. I don't remember the pump body, what it is, Hydrostar or something like that, but it doesn't matter. So I'll tell you what it did. Last time I ran it, ran perfectly fine. Started great, ran great, no problems. Filled it back up with gas a couple days later, went to start it, and it wouldn't start. And I pulled the spark plug to check. It was getting spark, but it acted like it wasn't getting fuel. So I'm like, well, you don't gum up the carburetor overnight like that. So like the fuel line must be blocked off somehow, just a chunk of debris. I don't have a screen in the tank, so probably a chunk of debris blocked the intake or something like that. I don't know if that was the case. Anyway, so fuel lines blocked off. So we're expecting a bunch of rain. I didn't know when I would get a chance to fix it. So I went the other night and I got it picked up out of the pond. I brought it up to the house and I just set it by the container. And I told my father-in-law, I said, hey man, if you're bored and you want to tinker on it, I said, see if you can figure out where the fuel line's blocked. Well, he texts me the next day and he says, hey, I tried to pull start your pump and it's locked up. Can't get it to pull. I was like, well, it was perfectly broke loose just the other day. So how is it locked up all of a sudden now? Also doesn't make any sense. So just now I thought, well, again, your engine doesn't lock up that fast. Um, so I thought maybe one of the bolts inside the housing vibrated loose and has got the impeller locked up. So just now I throw it up here on the tailgate, tore all this down, get the impeller off. Nope, all the bolts are good and tight. Still locked up. So I took this next part of the back, the back of the housing off, which is those four bolts that tend to fall out, pull that off, and <clears throat> was able to get a pipe wrench on the on the drive shaft and I mean just with that basically just the weight of the pipe wrench broke it over so I guess maybe just my ring somehow got a little scratch on the inside but it broke over and then I you know pulled it 10 times and it didn't want to lock up it didn't scratch none of that which I did top the oil off it was a little low on oil but it wasn't like out of oil but I topped the oil off and I sprayed WD-40 down inside the spark plug so it'd be down inside the cylinder so maybe it it may have just got like some weathering in there maybe it just kind of like a like a sort of an instantaneous rust i don't know if that's what happened because i didn't tear it all the way down to the cylinder so anyway it broke loose oh so the other thing i did was i pulled the plug here in the carburetor and let it drain gasoline out and it just drained and drained and drained so i knew the fuel line wasn't blocked anymore um so with that checked and with the cylinder broke loose i thought well what the hell pull it and see if it'll start go figure it pops right off pops right off runs great like nothing was ever wrong with it so i don't know Another mystery, another fix, I guess. I didn't do anything to it. I think these pumps, I, I think they just want attention, you know? They just, they they get a little down and, you know, they just feel like they're being worked too hard and underappreciated. So, so they throw a fit and they just want you to take them apart, show that you still love them, and, uh, you know, then they're happy. So that's what I did. I just gave it a little attention. Check the oil, I guess. I, I really don't think being low on oil was the catalyst because it, it's not like it just ran all the oil out overnight. These things don't typically use any oil that I've noticed at a, at a high rate. So I don't think it like ran out of oil and locked up because again, the initial issue was that it acted like it wasn't getting gasoline. And now that seems to have fixed itself. So I've probably got a piece of debris floating around in the tank. It'll probably block the fuel line off again just as soon as I get ready to use it and then I'll be pissed off. Uh, but anyway, we'll cross that bridge when we get there.